here I'm is. I'm in the garage just before my second cup of coffee. And we got snow last night. I came out about an hour and a half, two hours ago and measured this snow. I brought my shovel out and cleaned out about six, seven feet out in, out in the open. Well, I just cleaned out some more to measure it again about two hours after the first time I measured it. And, yeah, it's still coming down. <clears throat> so let's measure it. I got this stick here. Where's... Oh, look at that. That's the right end. See, I marked it this time because I couldn't see the freaking numbers. I don't know if you guys can do it, but that's what I did. So what I do is I go out here, and I will drop that right there, put my thumb on it. Ooh, almost 10 inches. Are you kidding me? Ten inches. <laughs> uh, it was six this morning, an hour and a half ago, like I said. And now there's uh, ten inches. But it's light. If you go over it once, it should be fine because it's light. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to do this twice today. This one and uh, Rogers. Because <coughs> I do Rogers. The guy down there, behind that that backlight. I didn't think he's going to school. That's uh, Vaughn. I can't tell. Looks like a car. I'm not sure. Uh, and I did that yellow house right behind those lights. And I do the house across the street. If I don't get caught by my wife. Yeah, I did three driveways today, honey. I did mine, Rogers, and uh, Angie's. Oh, I can't pay for everything. Okay, I do it anyway. Try to help her out. She's a girl with a problem. Nice girl. I get along with her tremendously, but not my, not my type. Because I'm married. That's my type. So anyway, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to wait until it gets cleared up a little bit here. And then I'm going to come out with my, uh, my good boots on. Oh, I got snow on me. Oh, I got snow on me. Huh? Why did I get snow on me? <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to come out here in my attire. Oh, yeah, my nose is all condensation. Uh, sure, I'm going to go out here and rip through this with my... I came home last night. Sharon and I went out and got some COVID tests down at the Brooklyn Fairgrounds. And when we came home... I don't know, something would hit my mind if somebody said something about starting this up. And then I came home, I got out of the car, did what I needed to do with the buttons and the switches and the controls. Oh, I did that too. And pulled it. Bow! First pull. Just like that. Cold start is right here start and it all depends on what speed you want i put on about a half oh let's less than a half but start is right at the bottom that's the choke yeah it's 31 degrees too oh is it no wait a minute i'll have to check when i go in but anyway this looks worse than it really is and see how light it is it's not really sitting on the lines this guy must be on his own driveway down there with his own plow. And he plowed it right behind Jerome's car. <laughs> but he cleared out in front of Jerome's house. Yeah, he did. He cleared out right in front of Jerome's house. I mean, uh, uh, front yard. Because he plowed it right up to the back of Jerome. Now all Jerome has to do is go forward and then park behind it. Uh, that mound that he pushed it into. Because Jerome ain't going to do anything. No, Jerome won't. Uh... 
gooses. Gooses. Follow it. It's over in this area, right by closer to the garage, but I'll never see it. Oh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> one or two, maybe. But the same one was squawking. He might have been along. Going the wrong way, buddy. Oh yeah, you don't need to untie them, Gary. They just come right off like that. And you can leave them right there. Well, no, let's put them in the tray because they're all wet. the room with the gray walls and the blue ceiling with the glow-in-the-dark stars. Yeah, only on this part because I don't really see much over there because I've had them over there before but they were invisible. They didn't get enough light from the window. The window brings in all the light so if I concentrate them over here they just pew, right here. And this moon and the star. That's the center of the room. So I'm going to have a little tripod in here. Okay. Like I said, I was going to bring my boots in so I can uh, put them on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I was looking 
this to my tripod instead. I told myself I was going to bring the boots in and and uh, <coughs> and uh, dad, I was no, put them on. Babies have it. And I've had these boots for 40 years. I wore them at International Paper for you know, safety drawing or whatever. just left the desk to see the plow on the road and see what the uh, snow depth was. And I left my empty coffee cup here. After this trip, the separate boots trip, and the separate tripod trip, and now just coming back to the desk to sit. I still forgot my second cup of coffee. metal.